वी आर फाइन आप कैसे हैं ठीक 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 क्या टॉपिक चल रहा है व्हाट इज द टॉपिक नहीं हम लोग आपका वेट कर रहे थे आर्यन ऑन कर लो वीडियो बेटा अच्छा ठीक है कोई बात नहीं दीप भाई पर उसका म्यूट हो गया है आर्यन का यस यस नाउ स्टार्ट आस्किंग क्वेश्चंस सर सॉरी आई आई डिट गेट इंट्रोडक्शन सर नो लीड वी ऑल नो आर्यन we have seen him several times yes. aryan you have any question you um, uh, right now you are you only one a student so you have a lot of chance to talk with malik sir yes aryan yes, sir. yes so please ask um, or please say something sir what um, how does uh why sir why, why the earth rotates oh my god is a very very nice question he has asked why does the earth rotate actually what happens uh, aryan that when the earth is formed Uh, <clears throat> so it, it 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 doesn't remain this uh, any ball no suppose there is a ball which is static suppose you add something to it so that it gives a little bit of rotational motion then suddenly the whole ball will start rotating Oh. you'll see you'll see suppose you throw a ball in the air what happens even if you are not rotating the ball suppose you throw straight but with the by the friction of the with the air you know the ball will start rotating when you throw up have you seen that you'll see yes sir so similarly similarly with the earth and moon and everything and they all rotate depending on what mass has come how it has come oh. and sir, please, uh, there was there is a call i yeah in fact now you will be all surprised this is for all of you that it seems that the water in the ground level is reducing so because of that the earth is now moving slower than before all the ground water is has been consumed so after that the uh, ground water you know in bihar also the level has fallen down by 5 meter or something and other places uh, in the village you know people are having difficulty in getting water in the summer months so the water level is down but that what but once the water level is down the earth sinks and because the earth sinks there is a impact on the rotation of the earth it is becoming slower very i mean you will, only you can measure with a very precise instruments you will not feel it but it is becoming slower so that is how all the all the planets you know during the period of formation you know they acquired some kind of rotational velocity they acquire so there are many reasons uh, but most important reason is this like in a ball you know when you throw up because of the friction the ball starts rotating don't you see this cricket people no cricket when they throw the ball there is a lot of science in this they they throw in such a way that with the by the friction of the air no the the wo jo kya kehte hain googly kehte hain na kya kehte hain nahi sorry the ball which changes direction in the while in the air itself स्विम सर स्विम कर गया बॉल हां जो स्विम कर गया फिर गिरने के बाद फिर वो टेढ़ा थोड़ा हो गया ओह 
No, all, all, you know, with the they play with the air friction actually. Mm. <laughs> so, Ian B. When cricket plays, he will know, he will understand that uh, how this rotation of the ball they play with cricket. Teams. You have to learn that if you want to be a good bowler, how to use air in that case. And earth case, you know, the I said already. So the rotation is. Okay, okay, Aryan. I will tell today something about this Chandrayaan. It has come in news today. So yes, India sir. probably in this month is going to send a satellite. Thirty. Thirty. Uh, I think it was thirteenth July, something. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you are correct. So you read newspapers also. Good. Very good. So this satellite is going to. Uh, go to the moon and it will it will make a landing on moon just about 100 kilometers from where chandrayaan 2 went which got you know damaged yes. so it is going to land just 100 kilometers away from that and it is going to monitor two three things important things temperature and the earthquake etc whether the earthquake takes place on moon or not that is there and there we there is a rover also in that oh. so a rover will come out and we will move around and do few experiments so this is chandrayaan 3 is so so aryan do, do you know that why why india is trying to send rockets to the moon what is the benefit to study about the moon uh. yeah one is to study about the moon yes that is anything else and if there are aliens on moon <laughs> all all children are worried about the aliens no uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we don't know whether the no moon is not supposed to have aliens for the very reason <laughs> There won't be aliens, but there could be some uh, microbes. If they find it, that will be very surprising, actually, because moon doesn't have much atmosphere. First of all, see, either you need lot of yeah. Why there is not not much of atmosphere? Do you know that? Because its gravity is very weak. Yes, very correct. Hundred percent correct is this because the gravity is six times less. Then you, you can jump. Suppose I can jump four feet in air on Earth. I can jump twenty-four feet in air on Moon six times. And this. so there is one thinking that see already China is doing it, US is doing it, and Japan and other countries are also into you it. One way is that people are trying to find out if one can stay on moon or not. What is the way out? But this particular Chandrayaan is, you know, is going to fall on a place. You'll be surprised that when we see the moon in the sky, we always see the same side. Yes, the sir. Is, there is yeah, a side that we can never see the dark side of moon. Why? Why? And um, because. We can only see uh, one, only see the face that we see every day, and the other part we don't know about it. So, um, we have launched Chandrayaan three to study about that side. Oh, very correct, very correct. But why we can't see the other side? Why we see always the same side? Because it is tightly locked. Because it is tightly locked to the earth. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is locked. It is locked. What do you mean by lock? Um, uh, yes, sir. What? What do you mean by lock? There are two questions in this. What do you mean by lock, and what do you mean by tidily locked? Um, it it can only. It cannot mm -hmm. rotate on its axis. 
Mm -hmm. It is rotating on its axis. Oh. So. The reason why we see only the same side of the moon is because the rotation on its axis, which takes about 27.3 days, and, and the revolution, the and the revolution around the Earth is the same same time it takes, not more, not yeah, less. So if you if you try to imagine there is a ball which is rotating around you. And it, its rotation period is same as the revolution period. You will find that you won't be seeing the other side of the ball. The same side of the ball you will be seeing. So, so that is what is called locked. I will discuss sometime later what do you mean by tidally locked. So, yeah, tides also have important impact on the rotation of the moon and all that. So, so it is locked in that sense. Yes. And also for you people, we have entered now Malmas. So Malmas, maybe Aryan may not have heard it. But Malmas also comes because uh, the lunar month is 27 point, uh, how many, 27.3 I think, yeah, 27.3 days, something like that, 27.3 days. Yes. So, so let's say for 13 cycles it will take 27.3 into 13 so suppose we have, see the our jyoti system which is there you know has a has a both combination of lunar month and solar this thing but what it does it goes by the lunar month which is 27.3 days but then matches it by mal mass adding one more month, oh, 27.3 into 13 is about 354. And Earth, uh, Earth revolution is 365. 65, so yes. always every year there is a gap of uh, 11 days. So, so what they do, they do a jugglery that how to match the lunar month to the solar cycle. Solar cycle is 365. So they add one more month. So this is the Malma which is going on now. Kuch bhi isme shadi hoji, kuch nahi hoga, kuch achha kam nahi kar sakte hain aap. That is what the Jyotsi people say. Yes, Malma. Yes, sir. Mal Malma is jo hota hai abhi. Yes. Abhi Malma is chal raha hai abhi. Yes. But that is a scientifically that is they are trying to match because every year there is a gap of eleven months, eleven days, no? So roughly every three years, they have to match it to the solar cycle. So this is just an error factor, you can call it, you know. Yeah. It's an yeah, error it in time, which we are accumulating every year uh, right. by, by lunar calendar. And we have to yeah. match the lunar calendar with the solar calendar. And right, so that's right. why uh, this is our uh, Jyotis. They were great mathematicians. Uh, we have high respect for them. You know, they already planned all these things. This is all mathematical calculation. How you do all yes. this. So actually in Mithla, we never changed to it. But in Bengal, Meghna Saha who was there, he said that we should not do like this. We should try to do in some other way because the Mithla way of doing is quite complicated, you know, the day ends sometime in the middle of the day and things like that to make the corrections. So in Bengal, they follow another uh, is a corrected and reformed type of thing, mm. and which is followed by the Indian government. So the way ah. the Indian government calculates the days and this and the way we calculate in Mithla is a little bit different. It comes up. Oh. Oh, okay. It's, but, uh, you know, but still... Amarnath, yeah, I think I have a feeling that once we have a Mithila state, we will do it in a more scientific way, the things. Yeah. But my question <laughs> is that, you know, all the major festivals, everything are matching, right, with the Bengal. We follow... I mean, maybe we might have different uh, Jyotish mathematical calculation, but hmm. uh, basically all the important days, they match with the uh, Bengali calendars. No, about it, there is sometimes 
some of the festivals they fall on the same day some festivals one day before or one day one day before mostly hmm acha yeah yeah and also the wo jo durga puja time mein bhi jo hota hai wo jo wo wala sab differ karta hai i see kitna kitna yeah. baje navmi hoga kitna baje ashtami hoga so it differs from our mithila thing let's be yeah yeah it's very interesting that we have neglected jyotish we all should be learning that mathematics i'm i've been now realizing that uh, you know i mean this is such a <laughs> science which we the only science we had and uh, we never paid attention to it home grown science mm. i'm curious yeah, in now the past, in the past uh, certainly a lot of people were involved in observing the sun and the moon and all that yeah. that good thing good works were there the only trouble was that uh, they linked this whole thing to our destiny you know so that became incorrect thing what do you mean by destiny by it means that if you are born in a particular this thing they you know so it decides oh. uh, what you will be in your life i see there is no yeah, there yeah. is no proof of that but yeah, the yeah, obje- that is, that observations is, they yeah. made yes we were very nicely in fact some some day if you all go to ujjain there is a observatory is there which the king made there in 17th century of course he made with the intention very different intention his aim was that he should go to war on a time when the jyotish tells him that you are going to win the war yeah so he wanted to know exact time but to do that no he had to play a lot of tricks to understand the motion of the sun and the moon so you should mm-hmm. visit uh, not only visit the temple but uh, my mahakal temple but also visit the observatory there is very good good one mm-hmm. even jaipur has it by the way jaipur also the the observatory is quite good I I have never visit I visited Jaipur but never went to that observatory maybe next time when I go to Jaipur I'll visit that Yes sir actually Jaipur ये सर एक सारे मंडल है वहां से ऑब्जर्वेटरी होता है उसका ना एवरीथिंग हां हां तो नहीं एक राजा ने भी वहां पर बनाया हुआ है एक तो ऑब्जर्वेटरी एक तो जयपुर में है या किधर किधर राजस्थान में एक जगह है जयपुर में ही है वो लोकेटेड तो जयपुर में ही है अच्छा सो सो डिड यू गाइस हियर दैट नाउ स्पेस टूरिज्म हैज स्टार्टेड दिस वीक वन फ्लाइट वेंट ऑल द वे इन द स्पेस एंड केम बैक राइट दैट पेड लॉट लॉट ऑफ मनी टू गो टू द स्पेस टूर एंड एंड दैट हैपेंड दिस दिस वीक uh there is a company american company who has mm. actually it is in the stock market is trading and now they mm-hmm. have started this so it was very interesting to see that and they were showing the live videos how they are doing inside sir uh, after yeah after the recently titanic no any one go for the any space or any panduki this type of working in people to know that sir um, about the titanic recently five people that um, well i mean there is always a risk factor right you cannot uh, be 100% sure i mean yes. there is a risk in everything you do yes. so uh, you should not be uh, you should mitigate the risk and that's the science does right you know you learn once you know the uh, problems then you try to resolve it like chandrayaan 3 hopefully we resolve everything what we had problem in chandrayaan 2 and um, uh, bonji you did you find out what actually happened why did it fail i still have not got a very good answer yes that sir. why it failed to land what happened actually Yes, well, they, they say that it, uh, it seems it landed, but it landed in a damaged condition, so that the rover couldn't come out of it. Mm. Yeah. 
so and a landing in damaged condition means basically there is a propeller i mean the, the, the not propeller sorry the in the uh, a rocket is fired to reduce its speed so that probably might have not worked so that the speed didn't decrease so it landed very in a speed speedy manner damaging it and the rover then couldn't come out of it because of the damage so this time they say that they are going to have taken enough precautions mm. and there is a rover is there so once it lands a rover will come out and do few experiments and this is very important what aryan was telling you know it is just at the boundary the of a place which we don't see so so all the now research is being done try because problem is there which we don't see the signal there is a signal problem you see mm. it is not facing us so all the attempts the one chinese attempt was there in the dark side so this is indian attempt but it is just at the boundary so they will try to figure out temperature and as well as a lot of experiments they are, they are going to do i think what about americans i mean americans have not uh, tried or uh, they have uh, uh, they have not explored it on that yeah, side actually, in america, no americans also uh, have not uh, tried but uh, what actually their lunar mission they had dropped for some time now again they have started mm. so it seems uh, and now they'll be doing all these things because their main interest was to sending something and bring the pieces from there you know वहाँ का मिट्टी ला करके उसको चेक करना है क्या है इसमें um why do birds do not get diseases like us they do get who told you they do not get i have never seen a infected bird or do no, they get infected but since they don't have a doctor to repair it no they die also so oh. they get infected they suppose they eat infected food like us they will also die <laughs> So, so the other important issue with the moon thing is that it seems people they see see in future that people will try to capture moon because there are some valuable materials are there. So India doesn't want to be left left behind. Certainly, people know China is trying to do that to send things so that they'll capture very. In fact, there is one one question which the newspapers never highlight. The moon has got a lot of helium three, which is a super fluid part of the helium. So once you want to have cryogenic technology on Earth, you you need a lot of helium three. Helium, you know, that it has got. Two, uh, two protons, two neutrons, but helium three has two protons, one neutron, and it is used for cryogenic activities. So, and there are other materials are there. So, India wants to also have a, you know, say there in moon what you do. You see, that is why they have joined now Artemis. Recently, you might have seen in the newspapers. Means having a treaty with America so that all the moon missions in India also will be a part of it. So everybody is trying to capture moon actually, but India has got other things because they want to train scientists and engineers in satellite technology. Because once you go to moon, the technology used is much, much advanced compared to if you send a rocket just for orbiting the Earth. So you are also gaining in technology. So, so Arya, next. 
Yes. Yes, sir. I have one little question, sir. Sure, sure. So nowadays we seen that uh, NASA and uh, our ISRO both are combined in 2023 or 2024. So what's the impact of this? So not 2023. Now only they have uh, only the deal is signed. Artemis deal is deal. So now the Indian man will go into the space station very soon. Uh, and also the moon missions. No, no. One good thing about India is that in, in India the private sector has started the uh, producing space things. Now NASA also needs that at a cheaper rate, and India also needs that. So uh, America will benefit in that, and India will benefit in. They have developed some technology, but it is always good to have better and different technology. Also many things. Even though we remember that once upon a time America refused to give us cryogenic technology. That, that was a time when I had joined Bhava Atomic Research Center. So there was a, I mean, the, the people used to say that why don't you join the cryogenic technology? Because ultimately then uh, BRC developed cryogenic technology for the rockets. I didn't join that group. So, we can say that the 1 plus 1 is equal to 11, I like NASA and this. Yeah, it will, it will be very useful. USA also will get some benefit in terms of, because now the space thing is, has come in the private sector. In South India, a lot of companies are there who are producing products for the space science, space technology. Then India, of course, needs lots of satellites, you know. Now India is trying to have its own GPS system also. Presently in our mobiles, we are using American satellites, but soon we'll switch over to Indian satellites. Okay. Thank you, sir. So... Or, or hai, a question Aryan ke paas? Yes, sir. Any more question you have? Sir, can you tell me about nuclear energy? About? Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Achha, Aryan is reading quite a lot of music. He has got a vast... Manaji, hmm. we, need to, we need to help Aryan to achieve big things in life. He is really covering a lot of subjects. It's very good. I am very happy. Yes. Actually. Actually, sir, yeah. he is prepared. Actually, you have taken the one session in a week. He is prepared all things. And then he has a doubt. Then I speak with you. Sir. But <laughs> he is read out all things, sir. Oh, good. So, nuclear energy, you know, when the new, uh, nucleus, you, the atom has a nucleus, isn't it? Every atom has a nucleus. So nucleus, when it breaks, then it lets out energy, you know, and that energy can be used to heat water and that hot water can produce electricity. So that's called nuclear energy. In case of lower atoms, means like hydrogen and helium and all that, when they fuse, not break, when they fuse, like it happens in the sun. Sun is giving you light. How it is giving light? If there is a nuclear reaction happening in the center of this. Yes, sir. So that is that is getting uh, converted. That uh, the, the nuclear reaction in the core of the sun produces gamma rays, and gamma rays, after a lot of reflections, sir, did you? Have... Yes, sure. Sir, did you had a nuclear power plant in your? Um, Bahama Center? Uh, in India, the, all the nuclear plants are constructed by Bhava Atomic Research Center. So, so you have... Did you have one? Yeah, I have seen them, I have visited them. But I was not part of the nuclear reactor group. I was part of different group, that is more nuclear physics and accelerator physics. 
So all the reactors have been done by the Bhava Atomic Research Center. So they are all located in the western side of India. So it is in, Ch in Tamil Nadu, it is there. Then in Maharashtra, it is there. Then one there is in Narora in UP. So all these plants are made by Bhava Atomic Research Center. So and now we want to make more and more simply because it is a uh, green energy because there is no because it doesn't pollute the atmosphere. So again, the yes. Yes, sir. So again, the countries countries are trying to now make more and more nuclear reactors. So now soon you will find in next 15, 20 years when you grow big, India will have a lot of nuclear reactors. Now, 8% of the energy in India is made, provided by the nuclear reactors. But we do it by the fission process, means they, by breaking the uranium atom. But in the sun, it is the fusion, means so hydrogen combined to form helium, then it produces energy. So that energy, gamma ray, you know, gamma ray is formed, gamma ray becomes then light photons. And you'll be surprised, Arian, that the photon, the light particles which come to your ear, eyes here on Earth, it takes about one lakh years to come here. You know that? Because like, there were, because they were many they were trapped in the sun. Oh very correct. I said, my god, Aryan really knows. <laughs> yeah, inside it keeps on getting reflected and changing its gamma ray is a higher frequency and light ray is lesser frequency. So by reflections, no, it changes the frequency. Oh my God, I'm seeing something very new in the screen now. Yeah. Yes, so it takes about one lakh years for this reflection. So the photon which was made one lakh years is now entering your eye. Tomorrow when you get up in the morning, when you see the sun, photon takes only eight minutes to come from sun to the earth. But it takes one lakh years to come from the center to the outer part of the sun. Yes, sir. So the photons which come to your eye today, they have been made one lakh years back. Sir, did you know about my YouTube channel? I had, I had one. Yeah, you send me the link in my, I will see it. Okay, sir. So that is that is very interesting, no? Ek light ray, one lakh saal ke baad aapke aankh mein aa raha hai, and then you are able to see everything. Jadi aaj mm -hmm. sun band ho jaye, to everything will become dark on earth, isn't it? Yes. Nothing will be visible. We all will die. Now the solution. Yeah. So, Amarnath Ji? Yes. So, hum kar rahe the ki, what about our Mithila state? Something is happening or not? They were supposed to go in August.